Hi guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect plant-based weight loss. And I just wanted to do a quick video to check in with you and to give you a health update because I figured out what was going on and I missed some signs and I don't want other people to miss these signs if they are also having any kind of surgery. So, <clears throat> As you guys know, I had surgery on Monday last week, exactly a week ago. It went great. I didn't even have any pain. I took pain medicine just because they were pushing it on me and because they were saying, like, if you don't take it, then the pain will get bad and you won't be able to catch up with it and stuff like that. So I took pain medicine. But the next day, I refused it. And the third day, I was doing great. My friend Joyce was taking care of me. I was feeling awesome. I was knitting. I was making, I was doing sewing. I was like feeling like I was playing hooky because I was doing so good. Like I knew I had just had surgery in my mind, but I felt awesome and I almost felt like I could already go back to work. So then, I think the days are all kind of blending together, but maybe I think on the fourth day, yeah, I think it makes sense the fourth day, I woke up with what I thought was a migraine. And I've been having some pain in my back and in my, like, behind, but I just attributed it to laying on my back and laying, you know, and not, when you have abdominal surgery, you can't change position very much. And you also sit more than you usually do and stuff. And so I just attributed it to that. But um, and I took over-the-counter pain medicine because I couldn't stand it. Because I felt like I had a migraine. I finally, um, then I woke up the next day with another one. Like it got it went away, but then I woke up the next day with another one. And another one. And so I started trying a lot of natural remedies. Like my friend Billy told me to use ginger, so I did, and that seemed like it really helped. And I hope this is not TMI, but I tried a coffee enema, and I tried um, other things that had helped before when I used to have migraines. Back when my hormones were all screwed up, I used to have migraines frequently, and so that when I had that bad pain in my head, I thought it might be something called a rebound headache, which is when you take an over-the-counter pain medicine and it temporarily blocks the pain, but as soon as it wears off, you get the migraine again. And the only way to get past a, a rebound headache is to just stop taking over-the-counter medicines. So I was like, I'm just going to hang tough and... um but I just couldn't do it. I finally gave in and had some Tylenol and some Advil. Well, today, okay, so other symptoms I've been having. So I have said the headaches and the body aches, especially like in my upper back across, you know. So I was like, is that chest pain? I don't even know what that is. But I just attributed it to laying on my back. Upper back, um, lower back, and in my hind end and anyway I was having those pains and I was having the headache but the headache was by far the biggest complaint but I was noticing that I had zero appetite and I kept getting chills and I kept getting hot and so it finally occurred to me that they sent me home with a thermometer and I hadn't been taking my temperature um, and I have been having I had drains that came out of my incision site and they had been getting you know they were the right color I will not gross you out but they were the right color and they were you know getting lighter and more like showing all kinds of signs of improvement and then they dramatically changed to much darker red which could indicate bleeding and also cloudy and with a bad smell. 
So I took my temperature and it was 101.5 and now it's like 102.1. So now I feel really foolish, but I'm a thousand percent sure I have a post-operative infection. And I'm such an agreeable person a lot of the time that I don't want to bother anybody or I feel like I have everything figured out and I don't want to take anybody's advice or because um, my friend Amy told me a couple days ago, you'd like, you, have you called the surgery advice nurse yet? And I was like, nah, I think it's just this rebound headache. You know, I've had headaches in the past. This is exactly what it feels like. Um, anyway, so that's another message I have for you is be teachable, be flexible, take the advice of people who love you and are only looking out for your highest good because you're a fool if you don't, you know, like my mental state is a little bit compromised from the fever and everything. And today, like I said, it's a thousand percent obvious. I've had fatigue. I've been sitting in the chair and falling asleep. I almost fainted in the shower. Um, I have pain in the incision for the first time. Um, and so anyway, so I finally... I was supposed to have a post-op appointment anyway, today, but it was with a nurse who was going to possibly pull my drains. And I did call and I advocated with for myself and I documented all my symptoms and I got an urgent same-day appointment with my actual surgeon. And so that is one thing I want to tell you is because I have a friend that was having really bad like bladder infection and they couldn't get her in and things like that. And she was just like, well, you know, I understand why they don't get me in. And I totally get that. But sometimes you got to be the squeaky wheel. you got to advocate for yourself. So I made a big mistake by not taking the advice of my friend who loves me. But I made a good move by insisting that I see the right provider and immediately. And sometimes you have to be more self-defensive than worrying if anybody thinks you're nice. Um, I used to schedule appointments for people. And, you know, it's doctors are really hard to get in with. They're overscheduled. They have crazy schedules. They have a huge demand on their time. But I would go above and beyond for certain patients that were both persistent and really kind. Like, hey, I know I checked yesterday, but I'm just seeing if there have been any cancellations. Just wanted to check again. Would you mind sending a message to my doctor, just telling her again that I'm having this problem? You know, like squeaky wheel, squeaky wheel, squeaky wheel. Not rude, not mean not accusing the person of something, of holding something back from you. But when you do that, what happens is that you go to the top of the list. And I don't know, I think it's almost like, I don't know, something opens up and it becomes possible to see you. Maybe they just want to get rid of you. Um, there were a few people that were nasty that I would, I would work them in just so they would stop calling me. But I don't recommend that, and I would never do that. I'm not going to compromise who I am. But I'll tell you this, if she wouldn't have been able to see me today, I would have just gone to the emergency room. And so I'm all for advocating for yourself. Um, I am going to, I'm almost assuredly going to be on antibiotics now. I don't know what this means for work because tomorrow was my last day of ill time. I used up all my ill time when I was so sick in August. Um, I'm praying that they let me use vacation. I have some vacation saved up because this is not a good time to be out of money, but 
sometimes it comes down to your money or your life and your life always has to be more important it always has to be more important and you have the rest of your life to make up for money problems but you don't have the rest of your life if you make a foolish decision about your health because of finances like I would hear people that would say I think I'm I'm very sure that I'm having a heart attack but I don't want you to send an ambulance to my house because I don't want to pay for an ambulance charge that to me is really foolish you need an ambulance don't have your cousin drive you to the hospital or God forbid drive yourself what if you have a full coronary um, while you're driving you could kill other people you know if you don't care about yourself think about other people think about all the people who love you um, so if it comes down between your finances and your health make your health the priority a hundred percent of the time just like we all know the salad costs a lot more than the 99 cent burger but we eat the salad we eat the organic salad because we make that choice between our money and our and our health and the health has to prevail so anyway I just wanted to check in with you guys I love you guys thank you for the thoughts and the prayers please pray for healing please pray for me to not be re-hospitalized I would really like to not be back in the hospital but I am willing to do whatever is necessary to get well um, and I would really like my finances to turn out okay so please let them be okay with using my vacation um, Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being with me through all my ups and downs. And uh, don't ignore signs of infection if you think that you have one. Very silly of me. In my defense, I don't think I was thinking that clearly, but don't ignore signs of infection. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.